So <laughs> I'm going to share this with you guys. Here's what he says. He's a biologist. Oh, there are only two genders. It's just basic biology. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Advanced Biology from a biologist. You see, you see that thing? So we're going to go over some facts together. But first off, happy Trans Day of Visibility, right? So sex and gender, not the same thing. You probably heard that before, right? It's because it's true, because biology actually has nothing to say about gender. You would have to look towards sociologists, anthropologists, or gender scientists for that. And that's why when you defer to your basic biology 101 class that you failed in high school, you look like you don't know what you're talking about, right? Gender is only loosely related to sex insofar as we've identified certain physical characteristics and have arbitrarily decided that this person belongs to this gender but there are a whole bunch of people from that gender that don't have those physical characteristics, right? It's almost like there's some variation to sex. And that's because it's not a binary, it's a bimodal distribution where you have two extreme ends and most people falling somewhere in the middle. Now, this could be due to your genetic predisposition. It could be due to the fact that there are more than two combinations of sex chromosomes. It could be due to the intersex spectrum, but it's mostly due to hormone washes. And it's the reason why every person assigned male at birth isn't seven feet tall with a raging beard and a hairy ass. And in fact, there is more variation within a sex than there is between male and female. And by the way, you could be intersex. You could go your whole life being intersex and never know it. And the reason to that is because when you're born, nobody tests you. The doctor just decides what you look like and assigns you a sex. And then society then assigns you a gender that is traditionally associated with that sex. I really hate when people appeal to nature when they're trying to erase trans or gay people because when you actually study the animal kingdom, the concepts of male and female cease to function as we understand them. When you're talking about creatures that have vastly different sexual dimorphism than us, species that can flip-flop sexes or produce both gametes or reproduce asexually, animals that have gay relationships. No, this isn't a rewrite of history or science. You just weren't paying attention in class. Let's talk about gender. It's a social thing, right? You got these roles and responsibilities that you assign to a specific group. Now hear me out. Not only has the concept of a man and a woman changed within our culture over the course of hundreds of years, not only are these characteristics and the amount of genders different between cultures, not only has the concept of gender identity changed since the beginning of civilization, but between two individuals is a different concept of that gender identity. What it means to be a man for me is likely vastly different for what it means to be a man for you. It's almost like none of this has anything to do with the chromosomes you have. Trans people don't just feel like a man or a woman, they are a man or a woman, or neither, or both. And dysphoria comes from the fact that we've applied physical characteristics to social categories. And the real mental illness is thinking that 8 billion people can all fit into two arbitrary classifications. And no, nobody's turning your kids trans. Nobody would have anything to transition from if you didn't apply something to them that they don't identify with. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, there are only two genders. It's just basic biology. So, yeah. He's an actual biologist, and he actually shows him, you know, TikToks of him actually working in the lab. So, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to listen to the biologists on this one. I think it's important that we realize that, you know, the more we think that divides us is actually, we're actually more united than we realize. And I think that we need to need to get ourselves to a point where we realize that our enemy is not each other. Our enemy is actually the capitalist class, the oppressor class, the the vultures, the parasites that basically feed off of us and keep us divided as people. I think that's what we need really need to get towards. We need to come to a point where we unify and actually, you know, take, you know, uh, uh, our cues from uh, a lot of different uh, revolutions around the world and come together and take care of each other, you know, because they're making it so that we are constantly, uh, we're constantly denied our, you know, rights to, you know, health, uh, food, education, housing, and we cannot stand for it any longer. And we just do not want to continue to keep this division up. The thing is, is that, look, trans people are going to exist and continue to, continue to exist. Trans people are natural occurring human beings. Gay people are naturally occurring human beings. 
It exists in nature, so therefore it is natural, right? Therefore, people who are trans non-binary, they're going to naturally just occur. They're going to be here. They've been here since the beginning of time. They're going to be here till the end of time. 